Yep. Okay. You wanted to see me? Thanks for stopping by. I was in the neighborhood. The reason why I sent the memo, G, is because we had- Gardner's fine, thank you. Yeah, right. We need to talk about your helmet. I knew this was gonna come up eventually. <laughs> Did you lose a, a bet or something? Is some long running frat joke with some old buddies? No, no, I, uh, I needed to survive. Also, I was, I was never in a frat. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> Sigma Nu! <laughs> Anyways, what we need to talk about, G. Gardner's fine, thank you. Have you noticed the impact your helmet is having on the office out there? No. Why don't you take a look? Hey, take a really good look. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, so I, I, I see what you mean. Uh, I totally... Uh see how that could be a uh, distraction. Oh, so we're in agreement. So if you wouldn't mind kindly taking it off while you're at work, that would be fantastic. I hear you, I see what you're saying, a valid point. Unfortunately, if I were to do that, I would literally vomit myself to death. We all eventually die, G. I appreciate the Monday morning existentialism, but I'm being serious, I, I can't take it off, I will die. <laughs> There's gotta be some way we can work around this, buddy. If it's that big of a problem, I have no issue working from home. Oh, sure. Yeah. Cause a distraction and then go get sent home to work. Like no one's ever pulled that move before. <laughs> I didn't I didn't ask for this. Neither did I. Oh my god. Who are you and what are you doing? Really? Really? You notice the helmet, but not the masked man fleeing with my documents? Whatever you say, helmet boy, I'm on your side. Great, I'm so glad to hear it. Hey, uh, G, I'd like to see you one last time. I'll send you a memo. My name is Gardner, first of all. Second of all, send an email, for Christ's sakes. This is not a 1930s newspaper. Free. You tell him, G. 